Come on, say what was that? Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikhail. We are back with a new video for you guys. I hope you guys had a great Labor Day. I had a good Labor Day. I basically just worked on the ScorpionShow.com and, and made some September goals that Mikhail was reading me about, saying I won't do some of them. I didn't say that. I didn't. Oh, excuse, me. Oh, excuse me. I didn't say you wouldn't do some of them. I actually said you wouldn't do one. Mm. And that was, you're not going to stay out of the club. <laughs> I said for first Friday and He's only going to go to the club for first Friday Which means he's only going to go to a club Once a month, please And it's already looking like I won't be able to go to first Friday Why? Because, you know, I'm supposed to be Oh, um, you're going to be in New York yeah, Well, that's why you're not going to first Friday Because you have prior engagements yes. But if you didn't, you'd be there Yeah, I'll be at first Friday Yeah, now I guarantee you on any other night If you were at home, bored And one of your friends called and said Let's go to the club, I'll pay You'll be right there You're damn right, right, right there. There. So that's why you need to mark that goal off yeah. No, I'm not marking it off <laughs> That's the only goal no. But I think everything else is a good goal Yeah, everything else is, is definitely good Yeah All right, Iyama Yeah, so yeah, so um, We gotta get her back on the show Who? 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 Iyama Oh yeah, we do I, I haven't Huh? Who? I said Lil Mo Oh It's this peppermint in my mouth Excuse me, yo But before we start this video That's Make sure Okay Ooh. <laughs> make sure you click that thumbs up button and make sure if you are um, watching us for the first time, please let me take this out. Ew. Please click that subscribe that is disgusting. button. That's They're not going to. They, they know we but already. you spit a peppermint in your fruit salad. But that fruit salad, it, it, it's not all of that popping. It wasn't. And plus, they got all this melon and cantaloupe. Like, give me some damn strawberries and grapes and um and uh, pineapples and cool. No, that's not a. Uh, that doesn't go in a fruit salad. Cucumbers? Uh -uh. But um, you know. But yeah, but before we start this, I want to talk about my Friday night experience that cuz I went out Friday night. Had a great time. It wasn't first Friday, sir. It wasn't first Friday, <laughs> but I went out because my friend Eddie's on vacation. I'm going to go out and have a good time. So, I, let me turn this off. So, I go out, right? You know how you having a good time the clubs let out. Go to a let out on 13th Street of all places. Then all of a sudden, somebody's like, "Come here. Come here." And I'm looking at them like, no, I'm not coming over there. You want I me? Mean, you come to me. You know, that's how it always is. You just don't walk to any old body. Come on, somebody, somebody might, you might not want this. Somebody oh, might bash you. Mind. Somebody might bash you in the head or something. You walk over to them. So I'm like, no, I'm not going to go over. So then all of a sudden, he's talking about, oh, now you just Hollywood. You just think that you just every fucking thing. And he went. Was he drunk? Oh, I don't know if he was drunk or not. Probably not. He just went, but he made me sober because I was just like, what the fuck are you talking about? Where is this coming from? I was like, everybody in Philly fucking know me. Ain't nobody stopping me on no street and none of that. They just treat me like I'm regular club and that's exactly how I act. You know, I don't I don't say, oh, you got to let me in this club because I'm the scorpion. Oh, bitch, you got to give me a free drink. I pay just like everybody else. So don't come at me with that kind of stuff. So he's just going on and on. And then he proceeds to try to talk about me. Now at that time, well, who was he with? I'm gonna get into that. Oh, oh yeah. I'm gonna get into it. Oh yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. So um, yeah, wait. Oh. So then, then, then him and his friend, they act like they wanna try to talk about me. I said, oh bitch, you wanna talk about my old ass Nikes? I don't give a fuck. Wait, I came huh? Huh? wait, it got that far. It got that far. Like how the fuck you? Oh, but did you treat your fans like this? And but look at you, you look like this and blah blah. I'm like, I really don't give a fuck. None of y'all don't do shit for me. And none of y'all paying my bills. Ain't nobody doing a damn thing for me. So I'm out here, I'm having a good time. So then, you know, um, I don't want to say no names. Mm -hmm. But well, you know. Tell me, because I, I can't understand the story unless you say names. Well, you, you know, know, that's just how I am. You, you, know, you know the Beyonce fan? Yeah, so yeah, so. So he's there with me and um, two of uh, your friends, or not your friends, I don't know if they're your friends in particular. Well, tell your names and I'll probably tell you. Uh, I can't remember the name. It's the light skinned boy that looks Puerto Rican and then the brown skinned boy. He be wearing the. Uh, that don't help me. Oh my the God. Light boy who look Puerto Rican. Who the boy that wear the, the hair? Who's the boy that wear the hair? Uh, who, where do I know him from? He's one of your friends. He, anyway. No. Oh, uh, I can't remember, Mikhail. Because I need to know. So I can call look. him and say, well, what happened? Oh my God, he be he's light brown, well, he's light skinned, and sometimes he wear the hair, uh, fake hair, or fake hair, fake I don't hair. Know who wear fake yes, hair. you do. And he got his two best friends, Ro, what's their name, Ro and somebody else. You know them, Ro and 
Can't remember. But anyway, so they out there with me. So then somebody like Kevin, like, you don't even got the argument. I'm now. sorry, and I know y'all probably keep getting mad at me that I keep interrupting him, but I just gotta ask you this one last question. Who were you with? I was by myself. So you were, oh, you weren't with I was like, about to get, get in the cabin. Nobody. I was, I was about, about to get in the cabin. I was about to get in the cabin and go home. You know how sometimes you see people, you stop and talk. Yeah. Like me and the person that almost was about to fight, me and him was having a conversation. That's what they was like. Come here, come in. I'm like, no. oh, so y'all had a conversation before this even transpired. Yeah, so because he's seen me, because uh -huh. he's seen me. So, um, so now he's ready to fight Jameer. Well, I didn't say the name. Oh, well, oh, so, Why? Now, so now he's ready to fight Jameer Why, because Jameer was like, Kevin, you know, you ain't got to argue with him, just right. let it go. So now the boy wants to fight Jameer over something. Over super. Something so super. I said, Oh, so you mad. So you mad at me, so now you want to fight him. Right. I'm like, that don't even look right, because you're supposed to be wanting to fight me. Well, you don't want to fight me. Oh, he trying to get me together. So then the other friend, I'm like, and the other friend talking about, well, you ain't got to be mad. He ain't got nothing to be mad about. He ain't got nothing to be mad about. You're not going to say that my friend is mad. This tall motherfucker. I don't know him. At first, I didn't know him. Uh -huh. So then, then was like, Kevin, I can't remember who, but he was like, Kevin, you know that's... Cause this just got good. That's what? Uh huh. That was on the chair. So I'm like, so I'm like you. That's why they was. That's why he was instigating with the other boy to try to fight me. Cause you mad at one of my friends, and I ain't got shit to do, do with that. that. Right. You See know. It? So I'm like, wait a minute. Now Wait a minute! You was trying to argue with me because you mad at somebody else. But you didn't That's know that at that time. Me. I didn't know him. But when did you find that out? I found that because somebody was like, "Don't even, don't even argue with him because that's so and so, so and so." So I'm like, "That's when I just went off." Who the fuck is some guy? Some I'll, I'll tell you off camera, but. <laughs> it was just a fucking mess. This like, I first of all, this is I don't treat nobody different. Especially when I'm, you know, having a good time. I'm having a good time. Come over and say, hey, we can take a picture. And we can go ahead. Like, I don't ever say nobody no. I'm, I'm just having a good time. And I like meeting fans, but don't, don't be disrespectful to me. So then me and him had a nice little talk. Afterwards, but I'm like, oh no, I don't want to talk to nobody if I'm. The I'm like, that. don't treat me, me like that because face. I don't even act like right. that. And I and I got in the cab and I went home. But it was just so crazy that that happened. Like I don't I don't act like nothing. I'm fucking Kevin Simmons. Nobody in Philly gives me a motherfucking pass I wish I for a motherfucking thing. It was just it was just crazy. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. Tell me, but I'm a fan, and that's a shame that you treat your fans like that. And that makes me that makes See, that me wasn't mad. Even, that wasn't even you were a fan. You just wanted to start up some yeah. fish because you know that I'm friends with so and so. Yeah. Like that's so patty, immature, grow the fuck up. Like, come on. Oops, sorry. So now you <laughs> wanna start so now you wanna start some shit with me. That ain't even got nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. So, it's just a mess. First of all, please don't ever come at me like that. I know everybody has their good days and their bad days, but if anybody recognizes me, I don't act like that. But all that, come here and all that, I don't do that stuff. You got to come to me. That's just like you trying to talk to somebody, or you going to say, come here, or you going to approach the person. I would approach the person if I like what I see. Telling me to come here, no, I'm not doing that. Not at all. Like, I don't even yell from across the street to tell somebody to come in, even if they my friend. If I see him, I see him. Otherwise, I'm not I'm not yelling for nobody. I don't do that. I don't play those games. I've been out for 12 fucking years, and I learned a lot. And in some things, you don't, first of all, you don't act all joke doing that. If you see somebody, you know, bitch, you wait till you walk across the street. Or if they walking by, then you say something. All like, yo, Mikael, what's up, yo? I hate that. Uh-uh, no, fuck that. Ain't nobody doing that. Anybody tell you, I'll keep walking. Okay. They'd be like, you ain't hear me yelling in that? Yeah, I heard you. But I did not stop and I did not respond. Because one thing's for certain, two things for sure. Don't yell my name like that out downtown. Because I don't want everybody in the city to know what my name is. Yeah. Even if I am on YouTube. I may try to lie and say that's not me. <laughs> He didn't do that. And I do. <laughs> what? You think I don't? I will say no. Let me tell you something. I get people so good. I got I got somebody like that not too long ago with one of my friends. We was in the market, and this guy came up to me and was like, aren't you a guy from you? I was like, no. 
I told my cousins and them this too. I tell people this all the time. If I don't feel like being bothered, I'll tell somebody in a minute, no. And I'll be like, no, I wish, I want to find out who this guy is that everybody's always saying that I look like. Mm -hmm. And guess what I do? I'll keep it right on the move. No, that's not me. Yeah. Like now it's like I'm getting stopped in markets. I'm taking pictures in a damn supermarket. Like I, I just don't have care. Have you ever noticed when people always, when they catch you and recognize you, always look up like a bum? Mm -hmm. And then they always come on, let's take a picture. Okay. That day. <laughs> <laughs> mind you, wait, mind you, the block party. <laughs> Did tell you what happened to me at the block party? No. So the young lady and her mom who came from Connecticut. Yeah, from far, far away. You know they was early, mm -hmm. real early, like, real early real before it even. When they say 2 o'clock, you don't show up at 2 o'clock. But they weren't there at 2 o'clock. It was there at 1.45. Because Nina told me. Oh, yeah, she did. Because as I was pulling off, they was walking up. Oh, and they yeah. stopped me. Hmm. So, you know, I was like, oh, hi. But in the back of my mind, I'm saying like, yeah. I'm saying to myself, they, they ain't even showing up on black people time. They showing up on white people time. Because okay? they there early. So, you know, and then the, the lady, you know, the mom, as I'm talking to the door, the mom got her phone up and she trying to take a picture while I'm in the truck. And I'm like, oh, no, please don't take a picture of me. <laughs> First of all, I don't even, I'm not even dressed. Okay. okay? <laughs> don't do that. Like, wait until I come back and get, I don't like taking pictures with people when I look a mess. Like, now. I mean, I just took a shower and everything, but, you know, I just threw a t-shirt and some pants. Like, you don't want to be taking a picture of on somebody's Instagram and looking all stupid with your shirt on and you all sweaty with food all, uh-uh. Yeah, but it's it's um I just want y'all to know that ain't I'm not that kind of person. Just don't disrespect me and then think that I'm still supposed to talk to you. But I'm I'm just like I just want to get this shit over with because you ain't gonna be talking bad about me saying I'm doing this and doing that when I'm just regular. I'm having me a good time. But that like, just didn't make any sense. Yeah, it didn't, didn't make no sense. sense at all. It was weird. It was a weird. I'm like encounter. You should be wanting to fight me. Why are you trying to fight Jameer? But so why is he even trying to want to fight you? Like oh, he be trying to fight me. Yeah, but you said that he should be one. But he should. But he should have been one to fight me. Like yeah. you, man, it's like taking your frustrations out on somebody else. No, it's like, yeah, that's what he did with you. He took his frustrations out on the other. Yeah, with you. On oh, you. Yeah, you yeah. had nothing to do with that. Like, why are you coming at me? Okay. <laughs> I don't sleep with them. Come on, let's get into the show because I feel as though I've yes. wasted so much of my time talking about this. Yes. So let's talk. Let's talk about Inferno. Okay. So. You know, we were all, last, you know, last Thursday, I was all like, oh my God, like, oh my God, I'm not going to cry. Because I felt bad for the parties, and I felt bad for everybody. Even though we was laughing and having a good time inside, I still felt bad. Well, I felt bad too. I mean, it was, it was, you know, it was a key. <laughs> so, so that's what I mean. I felt bad. Yeah. I'll tell you which part was the key, that the day before, all of a sudden, nobody knows what hotel they stayed at. That's a key. Yeah. It was only a key for me because I wasn't going. So, yeah, I've been going. <laughs> so we didn't know what was going on. All we knew was what what was rumored and everything. And I told y'all, West from A Connection Team, I'm mad at these flies anyway. Yes, what but the fuck is I don't here with all these flies? I'm I'm like, I tell you, no, they're food. All this food. Bitch, a fruit salad and what else is And food? that cup. What cup? Oh. Bitch, that's a coffee cup. And, and like, syrup. Why do you have syrup in your beer? Because I don't want them eating my fucking syrup when I'm on my syrup. I okay, mind you, I use it for when I'm on my pancakes. And I don't eat pancakes. Or do you all. use it on people? No, bitch, I don't bring nobody in my mother's house. That's my rule. I don't play those games. So, <laughs> you walk. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> who, who I bring here? I, I, I know I ain't do nothing in here. Who? <laughs> oh, look. No, so what? <laughs> that don't matter. We just play video games. That, that's but if something happened, nothing wouldn't happen. Mm. Get your life. Mm. <laughs> I don't play. I don't play those games. Cause you're a lady. That's what a hotel is for. Ooh. I don't do that. Ooh, you was a high price hooker, <laughs> huh? <laughs> so, so yeah. So Inferno Dr. You know, Wesley from A Connection TV was there, and I was telling y'all he was in the air, mind you, while we was recording. Mind so you. he got when he got there. Um, not while we was recording, but he was there while flying in the air while all this was happening. So he, so he yeah, so he documented it. He made a nice video that he took off and is going to put back up. But he made a documentary. Like, this documentary, y'all thought my London video was something? He was getting actual people's commentary of what they think was going on. But most of these people that go to in front of DR, they got a little bit of coin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so these ain't no kids like okay. going to... Right. Um, Atlanta. Atlanta. These are men. These are men with money. money. Okay. This ain't, this ain't, oh, I'm going to Atlanta with my girlfriends and we all going to shack up in one 
hotel yes. room to save our coins up because we don't want to be. No, these are men who say, I get you a hotel room and your hotel. Room. Oh, I knew that's right, Candy. If I want candy. to buy everybody a hotel. Oh, oh, Candy Burn. Yeah. Okay, but Candy was there too. <laughs> and they got her too. <laughs> no, but. You know, people was making videos, but they wasn't there. Yeah. West got people that were there, and these people just been stay drinking. Cha, I got coins. I ain't worried about it. I will be back, but I'm not buying through Will. Uh huh. Like, just oh, yeah, the truth. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's mad at Will. So what they did was they had their own fucking takeover. They okay, mind you, their own takeover. That's what you do when they they throw you lemons, bitch. You make lemonade. And that's what they did. Like they had their own pool party, they had their own white party, their own masquerade party, wow. their own pajama party. The hotel provided everything. Like, okay, you really didn't even need Will Will. Okay, this is what I'm not. Did they still stay at the what hotel was that? The Malia. Everybody the Malia. stayed at the, the Malia. Malia. Okay, this is what I don't understand because Funky Dineva, who's another blogger, he did an interview with Will Williams, which is on Funky Dineva's website, mm -hmm. and it was like a, I guess a. Call, phone interview because you know you have to read whatever what's going on through the interview. Now Will was saying in the interview that there was some mishaps on the hotel's part, mm -hmm. and that's why this whole event crumbled. Mm -hmm. He had been going back; him and his team had been going back and forth with the hotel for a few weeks or whatever the case may be. But what I'm not understanding is, and I'm not calling Will a liar. I'm not calling him a liar by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just saying what I'm not understanding. What I'm not understanding is for the hotel to not want to have at the last minute any part to do with Will and his team in Inferno or whatever the case may be because they couldn't come to some type of agreement, whatever. But yet once these people got down there, the hotel provided them all the services that they needed. It just didn't make sense because I'm almost certain that these people who got down there didn't have, didn't pay the hotel anything. That's probably as far as them staying there. Yeah, some people, some people actually didn't pay through Will. They actually like paid through Expedia, mm -hmm. the hotel, to stay there. So, um, what um, Wes was telling me that you know a lot of people didn't go home. Maybe like seven people uh -huh. went home. They got you know. But majority of people else, stayed. Yeah, they paid the hotel, and you know they stayed there at the, on the resort and. Everything was taken care of for them. Like that video, I enjoyed that video until you took the fuck off. So, you better put it back up. But and this is the part that confuses me because if the hotel and Will and his team were having such a clash, yeah, clashing with each other, then why then would the hotel accommodate somebody? Somebody is lying somewhere, and this is not. You know what I mean? Like good. it doesn't make. I'm just saying it doesn't make sense. And maybe somebody got somewhere out there it does make sense to them and they can better explain it to me. But if, because Will even stated in his interview that he had already prior in advance paid the the hotel hundreds of thousands of dollars. Bro, that's a lot for of money. The, yeah, it is. And remember I said it in our last video that I'm sure this he had collected hundreds of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. That ain't nothing cheap. He said that he had already paid the hotel in advance hundreds of thousands of dollars for this event. So then why would the hotel then decide that they don't want to do business with you anymore, but where they can still collect more money from you and then say to the people who come, once they told you no, they say to the people who come and say, well, you know what, we're going to accommodate y'all and we're going to let y'all have y'all party here. But when you told the people who were actually going to be paying you more money, no, I don't understand. That doesn't make, that doesn't really make sense to it. It don't make sense. Somebody that's like that's that's, that's it's, like see, it's just a big it's a big headache that that it just it just makes me mad because I know Will yeah but this shit is not it doesn't make it sense doesn't make sense I've been texting one like keep your head up you right. know you know because you know I want to be a friend right but all I want is, is to the find truth out what's going on. and just be upfront be honest because it's still. No matter if, if he told the truth or he lied, he's still not going to look good to a lot of people. No. Because word of mouth is crazy. When mm -hmm. you tell somebody, oh my God, I had a good time in Dominican Republic, y'all seen my videos. They're like, oh, bitch, if Kevin had this much fun, oh, I'm going to go next year. And these people going with some of them getting passports mm -hmm. for the first time, going to a new country, and they stranded. It would have been better if you flew out there to meet them and tell them, What's going on? Right. Everybody got to go to Facebook <coughs> instead of going to the Inferno DR and website. Yeah. Right. And, or, yeah. you know, something. You know where he went wrong? I'm going to say where he went wrong. He went wrong because it, 
I'll, now, I'm going to be honest with you. There are times where things happen and you'd be like, it's so crazy how this one domino can affect all the rest of the dominoes that ain't even got nothing to do with that single domino. To me, where Will went wrong was, I know in the interview, Funky Don even had brought up the fact that in past years, Will was always down there in the Dominican Republic a few days before the event even started, you know, just getting everything together. Mm -hmm. And Will said, well, the reason why he wasn't there early this particular time was because he had a photo shoot with the models and he, instead of doing it earlier, he decided to do it on the last day and so that's why he wasn't there early this time. And even though that may be true, it may be true because I can't say it's not true, it may be true. But it does seem to look, even if it's true, it does seem to look a little weird because now you wasn't even there this time when we so used to seeing you early and then this happens and then we don't even hear you say sorry or this is what happened and I apologize. The only time we hear from him is from this interview. But wait, before he did a Funky Don Eva interview, he did finally release a statement. I, po I posted it on the website and on Saturday or Sunday... He posted what was going to happen with the money. What he said was, if you um, if you want to get your money back, you have to file a claim with the insurance um, oh thing, and that'll take two to three weeks. You'll get back a thousand dollars, I think it said. It should be more, whatever how much you pay for, or you could get a fifteen hundred dollar credit if you decide not to file insurance, and that money will go to any other. In front of future, in Canada, the, the, so uh, therefore it would be free for them in the future. If, or depending on how much money it is, yeah, from the fifteen hundred. But knowing a lot of people how frustrated they are, they're gonna want their money, money back. back. Right. They're gonna want they're their, gonna their money, want money, their money back. back. Personally, I would want my money back. And I think that personally I wouldn't want to do me. I wouldn't want to do business with them anymore. Not saying that they're bad, but just because of this whole ordeal. Yeah, it's like it's, it's a lot of first of all, what people don't realize is that I always tell people this. I always tell my friends this and they'll tell you. Well, those who ask. When someone comes to me and they ask for money or whatever the case may be, I always let them know. I work hard for my money. I work very hard for my money. And it ain't easy for me to just hand you my money, okay? It ain't that easy for me. Now, I'll give it to you if you really need it. But if you work just like I work and you come into me asking me for money, then I have a problem with that. The same for this event. You can't expect somebody to give you money, give you over $1,000 or however, hell, over $100 is a lot of money to me. Giving you a lot of money and then just... You telling them, well, this is what happened, and you have these two options, and if you want to... I don't hear that. Just give my fucking money back. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The same way I gave it to you, I want it back. And I want every brown penny of it back. I don't want half of it back, because I didn't give you half of it. I gave you all of it. Because if I only gave you half of it, I wouldn't be on this trip. Yeah. So give me all my money back. Stuff like this, I don't want, because then I start thinking in the back of my head... Somebody somewhere is not honest, and I don't want to be. Well, first of all, these people don't invite me anyway. They always invite Kevin, so maybe they know. No, no, no. no. I don't mean it in a shady way, but I'm just saying. I mean, no. I'm gonna be honest with you. Will did invite me. I think the year before last, he did invite me. He invited me over Facebook. That he did, but that was only his one time. That was the one time he invited me. But my thing is, they probably knew not to invite me because you know if something like this happened to me. I all hell is going to break. Lose. Let me say something. I'm flying Marcy and Mike down to the minimum public. <laughs> I bet you Marcy's gonna get my money back. It was just and don't nobody get my money back. Marcy's gonna get it back. And if she don't get it back, get it back, I'm calling my cousin Sam. Mm -hmm. The last one who was drunk on the phone with you yesterday. Okay. Oh, she'll oh, she'll, oh, she'll get it. I went around to her house and sat around here for three hours. Yes, I did. I didn't leave her house. That's why we did record yesterday. That's when right. I tell you, Mikkel was on that phone. <laughs> With, and she was house. talking about something. I don't know what she was talking about. In an hour, she had. In an hour, we talked about forty different subjects. <laughs> and all I did was call her, ask about one. <laughs> and she brought up everything else. So, so hey, okay, I said, okay, well, let me talk. She's, you know, she's the older woman. She likes to talk, so I like to listen. So, whenever Wes put his infernal DR video up, 
I'll re I'll have it in there so you guys can watch it because they really fucking did that. Like they said, Will who? Exactly what they did. I, but so. I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel bad for Will. Yeah, because, it's, it's, like it's, I said, I'm not. Well, let me just be clear because I know some people say, "Well, how do you feel bad for him?" I feel for bad for everybody. People who lost their money and feel bad for him because if he's being honest and truthful. I know it must hurt for him in the inside. It's if he's being honest, it must hurt for him in the inside to know that if he decides to do this again next year, there's going to be a lot of people who say no. Because this this year is going to be on a lot of people's tongues. They're going to say, oh, fuck no. Because you never know. You might come up, you might next year have somebody who tried to do something somewhere else. Now, see, then this is, this is my opinion coming from a blogger. Like, if you ask me, what did I enjoy better, Inferno DR or PR? I enjoy Inferno DR. DR way better because it just, for me, it didn't give me that Inferno feel when I was in Puerto Rico. If I'm going to talk about an event, this is what I do. I'm going to have to tell you the truth because I don't want nobody to be like upset. <coughs> it made me mad that my friends was cursing me the fuck out. And if my friends already cursing me out, I don't need y'all cursing me out. Mm -hmm. Oh, you said come to Puerto Rico and it was all of this and it wasn't shit. Like, it was... I had to make the best of what I had, you know, with my friends. But DR, that experience, it's not even just, it's not even just Will Williams. It's the atmosphere of grown-ass men, the pool, the bodies, the drinks, the food. It's everything. Just meeting new people. So you right meet, up alley, huh? Oh, bitch, you went. Get your life. Get your life. So it was right up his alley. The fruit and the men. A the, hoe and a buffet. Yeah. And, 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 and this hoe, too. You know, she's undercover. She don't let the girls know. <laughs> but. <laughs> I get one of them DR drinks. And they're like, Kevin, um, can you please get Mikael from the pool, please? It was. Let me tell you. Because it's. Oh, my God. I can't even swim. The, first of all, if you even. You don't have to go to uh, DR. You can just go to the Malia Caribe Tropical Resort and just get your life. Well, just, you better say that. You better say that. Can you say yes. that five times fast? No, I can't. <laughs> Malia, <laughs> Malia Caribe Tropi Tropical, something like that. But yeah, it's it's a really nice resort, and you will love it. So if you ever go to DR or Punta Cana and you want a nice hotel, there you go. But I think the days the days of bloggers doing stuff um, for other events and stuff. And you know you, you being taken care of. I think those days are over now. Everybody wants a check, and you know to promote these events because we do it for free. So you know West really went off about the situation. So I want y'all to check it out. And that was a, that's enough of Inferno DR. So I want to talk about basketball wise. Did you see it this past Monday? I haven't seen the past two episodes, and well, that's look, because I wasn't home. But go ahead, tell us. Remember last week I was telling y'all about the fuck the the dinner with the food, mm -hmm. about the girl asking the girl, did you uh did your husband have sex with the chef? So th on this week, you know, they, that was a cliffhanger. And this week she said yes, it happened, and then like everybody looking at Susie like, what the fuck? You do Why that for her? And then Susie dumbass, oh was she pretty? Everybody look at Tammy like, bitch, what the fuck are you doing? What what are Tammy you talking about? Everybody. Tammy or Susie. You say everybody oh, look at Tammy. Not, I mean, looked at Susie. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you talking about? Why would but you? But didn't somebody ask her to tell her to say that? Tammy, to told, her to Tammy her. told her to ask her. So, basically, everything that went also on the basketball. Oh, yeah, wait. So <laughs> then, <laughs> so then, because Tammy and Shawnee had a little, you know, a little spat. And Tammy... <laughs> This is why we're off on Tammy, because Tammy, you got the motherfucking nerve to be upset. Just like Shorty said, fucking with you, it could go really right or it could go really wrong. In my life, in my life. Because when she took that girl's yes. passport, why would you take that lady popcorn? That was really wrong. <laughs> and plus, she was really wrong drinking that fucking beer out of a wine glass. I will never, I just can't get over that. I just That's can't. Oh. Bottle of beer. <laughs> wow. And somebody, I was in my friend's house one day. I pulled a Tammy. I had my friend in my friend's house one day, and we bought a bottle of wine. He gonna say to me, "Damn, I ain't got no wine glass." Here I go. Here, just give me that glass right there. Okay. I don't give a fuck. With the so, give me the bottle. I'll drink it out the fucking bottle. I know that's all right. So Tammy. Tammy so Tammy, like, uh, yes, you know, I don't think she put her hair or whatever, because Shirley was talking to Evelyn Gossip and Evelyn about it. So Shirley was like, yeah, I heard that you said this can go really right <laughs> or really wrong, and you didn't give me a chance to meet her and all of this and that. But I'm like, Tammy, 
Bitch, you was the one that said, I'm tired of introducing these girls into the uh, school of this is who the fuck I am. So I'm like, if you already tired of that, why are you mad at Shorty for saying go really right or really wrong? Right. Like, don't get fucking inside a bitch because the truth is the light. And the light is the, is the way you should walk in, okay? So, um... And the light is the way. Yeah. So, so, I know that's why I get it. Catch it. Feel it. So, so you know, <laughs> Shorty like, bitch, I ain't got time for this. So then I cut to a new scene where Shorty's telling... Shawnee's telling uh, Evelyn what happened, and they imitating how Tammy talks, and oh, um, Tammy slowly throws her hair back. Oh, so, such and such and such. Uh-oh. Bitch, they went in, okay? And I got my life. Anything else that went on on the rest of the best couple of hours, it was no longer my concern, because the episode was just everywhere. It just went every which way. But then later that night, Tammy made a video. Uh -oh. And if you didn't go to ScopyShow.com to see, I'm going to need you to go there. Because Tammy made a video cursing out Susie. She's like, bitch, you know that's not how it went down. I told you before if she brought something up, then said, I told you not to say nothing at all. But Tammy, how dare you forget? Remember, Susie has diarrhea of the fucking, fucking mouth. Right. So it don't matter what went the fuck on, she's going to say it anyway. So now... You concocted this motherfucking plan. The shit blows up in your face. Now with Susie for now you ready to fight this bitch ass at the reunion. Susie, learn how to fight because Tammy is coming. But Tammy knew. Tammy knew not to threaten Shawnee or Evelyn. Okay. She went in. Or she tried to go in, but then she started crying about mom. And I felt bad for her. She started talking about her mom and, you know, she really started crying and everything. And I'm like, oh. But you know. <laughs> like, oh. Because, you know, I feel yeah, for her, yeah, but yeah, she she went back to after she wiped them fucking tears. But, yeah, at the reunion, Susie is on, blah, 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 blah. You better tell the motherfucking truth. Like, she just went off for eight minutes about what went on the episode, but she didn't curse out Evelyn and Shawnee. She just said, oh, they know how I support everybody and all of that. So, I'm not, I really don't feel bad for Tammy, except for the fact that she lost her mother. Anything else? I'm not worried about life. Your mother was in the hospital or your mother was like slowly dying and you being a grown ass woman, you want to dig up dirt on another woman about her, who, 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 who her husband was fucking and stuff. You could have really got to know this girl without even, you don't need to know somebody's past to get to know them. Like, what are you digging up dirt for? She's not going to treat you different. The bitch don't fucking know you. Right. And if she already watched basketball, basketball while, she already know how you are. Right. You got nothing to get mad at Shorty. Oh, it could go really right or really wrong. How dare you tell her that? It's the fucking truth, bitch. And sometimes it hurts. Deal with it. So, what's next on the back? <laughs> <laughs> bitch. So, um, what, what's next? Let me see my notes. <laughs> you know, because you just went off for 40 days and 40 nights. Yes. So, I, I, you know, yeah. you know, a lot of people was mad at Cheryl Underwood. Cheryl. Cheryl Underwood. Let's talk about this hair shit. So, Cheryl was talking about how uh, Heidi Klum, they had a discussion about how Heidi Klum um, saves her son's afro or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what's her name? Cheryl was like, why would you want to save an afro? We don't even go to the store to buy afros because it's nappy and it's ugly. Yeah, you know, who wants that? So, you know all the natural girls that wear afros and rock right regular hair, right. they went in. Because Cheryl Underwood always has on a wig with her braids yes. and her hair. And she's like, see, no, one of the white girls is like, no, you shouldn't think like that. She's like, no, but look at your hair. This is nice hair. And no, that really that. set the girls up. Ooh. Even I Viv made a video or made a statement, and I didn't even get a chance to look at it before. Because you know... I Viv went in because she rocks her natural hair. And she always got something to say when, you know, she ain't got shit else to do. So she's worrying about Cheryl Underwood. But I will say this. In the context, the context of how she was saying it, it was funny. You know, she was making a joke by Aisha Tyler. That bitch didn't really want to laugh. Because you know. <laughs> she wasn't here for it. Okay, she wasn't here for it. Because she knew where it was going. Yeah. And, you know, when you look at it, it's funny. But inside, you're like, Cheryl, what are you really thinking? Like, right. Or is this how you really think that nappy hair is is bad and it's ugly and you have this self hate for yourself? Is that why you always wear a wig? 
You know, so I understand it's people's frustrations. You know, a lot of people cursing her out and everything. I don't think it's something that she should have said. But since now that it's such a firestorm, mm -hmm. I think that the ladies of the talk should talk about hair. And just like Chris Rock did that movie, bitch, now that y'all, you brought it up, have a segment on it. And have people, you know, come and talk about it. Because it's a good conversation piece. And... You know, a lot of people like to wear their hair natural or wear the natural locks and everything. Yeah, Just because mind you're mind not mind going natural. to the store to buy it. Bitch, I, don't tell me ain't nobody going to the store to buy no afro. I don't mind wearing my natural. You ain't got no choice but to wear natural. What are you trying to wear? <laughs> <laughs> Where am I right now? Am I right? Let me maintain it. <laughs> it can go really right or it can go really long. <laughs> and in this case, it's about to go wrong. <laughs> you better watch me. Well, all right. That's going to go really long. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my boss that it can go really right <laughs> or really wrong. Okay. You make that choice. Okay. So, so while we're on the topic of here, right? This girl from Tulsa, Oklahoma, only seven years old, was kicked out of school because she wore locks. What? She because she wore locks. And mind you, her father was the one that had to do it. I don't know where her mother was on a news story, but it was her father and they made it known that he was a barber. The father was a barber, you know, they kept harassing his dad like, you can't keep sending her to school with this fro because it was against their cold, law, cold you know, economy. yeah, codes Dress that cold. you can't wear afros, you can't wear locks, or you can't wear fashionable hair because that interferes with the students, the other students learning. Now, where the fuck did this come from? Because when I was going to school, people wore braids, people wore afros, people wore weaves, people wore their hair to the back or whatever. And that shit ain't never stopped me from learning a motherfucking thing. I don't care if people put blue, red, blind, I don't give a fuck. Excuse me. <coughs> you go to school to learn. It doesn't matter what the fuck is in their hair. Now, I can understand where you have a dress code on what girls can wear. Because now you got the boys looking at the girl she got on a short skirt or she got her fucking titties out or it's a <clears> low <throat> cut. I can understand that. But you worrying about this girl hair? Hair doesn't represent who a person is. So you don't do no shit like that. That's why I'm a little bit mad at Cheryl Underwood for making that fucking statement too about the hair. You know? And I feel bad for this little girl because they was interviewing her and she was crying. Oh. And she said, what grade was she in? Second or third grade. Come on, that's ridiculous. She's like, all I want to do is wear my locks. Right. I, like, I don't see what's the matter with that. That doesn't make sense to me because, like you said, when you were in school, and first of all, a lot of times when you see, when you look at the kids coming home from school or going to school, you see a lot of little kids nowadays who have locks in their hair. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's anything wrong with that. So how can somebody having dreadlocks stop another child from learning? Sometimes they wear barrettes, sometimes they wear a ribbon. Well, maybe they should stop the ones who's wearing all those damn barrettes. <laughs> okay, because that clickety clank and clank is not cool for it's called no, I'm the, joking. The Deborah, the Deborah Community School in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, oh, you know what? I'm not even going to Don't go there because they're going to get you. You know what? <laughs> you know what I was about to say? They'll get me. They. Kevin, how do you know what I was about to say? Okay. No, don't, don't go there. Don't go there. Don't say that. Okay. Like, I wasn't about to go there, but you, you know what? Like no, I wasn't going to say that. Uh, I wasn't going to say the people from down south. No, I wasn't going to say that. No, I wasn't going to say it this time. This I mean, time. It's not this time. I wasn't going to say down south. But you know what yes. I'm going to say. Okay. Okay. So, look, 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 look at my face. <laughs> look, look. What? What that mean? I don't know what that. No. Down south. No. Bitch, I don't get it. Huh? Bitch, I don't know what you're talking about. The color of my shirt, not yours. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, bitch, you can say that. It can go really <laughs> right. <laughs> <over. laughs> don't go wrong, because I don't want to lose no subscribers, okay? We already having a hard time as it is. Apparently, I don't do enough around here. <laughs> I'm lazy as shit, apparently. Well, bitch, you told them I don't do shit. Okay. You did. <laughs> and I meant that. <laughs> now, now this conversation about to go really left or really wrong. Okay. okay. We're going to keep it on the right track. Okay? Yeah. Let's stay on the right path. Because I don't want it to go wrong. But I can. Okay. Because go another girl's going to start. <laughs> now, Kevin and McCallum, <laughs> I'm broke up now. You don't know what happened. 
You know, I want to know what's going on. <laughs> oh, All right, then. Okay. I want to know Michelle. why they ain't talking. Michelle, but imagine they screen cap. I guess I'm that famous. They screen cap and shit. You know, I had a fucking drunk moment, and these girls screen capped it. You already see I deleted it. <laughs> so I didn't mean it, bitch. They said, Michelle, can yeah, you go really right or really wrong? I don't know what's going on. Okay. Girls making videos and shit. Did they really? Oh, well, you know, Kevin ain't shit, but I don't know. <coughs> you know, the girls, you know, they like to, they just, I just let them be now. I don't even reply to most of the comments. Really right, or can go really yeah. well. That's what you can get really blocked with this. <laughs> and now I don't Tammy, even shout out to Tammy anymore. for that one. It can go really right or it can go really wrong. I'm going to say that to somebody. Yeah. Speaking of things going really wrong. Okay. Wait. Because they all go wrong today. Because Ariel Castro today, first of all, I looked at, I seen a thing pop up on my phone. I'm like, well, what the fuck you doing? I rolled back over. So then I guess on Twitter, and I see that he just allegedly, he hanged himself in jail. The reason why I'm saying allegedly is because I'm not believing this story at all. Like, I don't believe that he actually hung himself in jail without anybody saying anything. I don't care just because he was away from the other prisoners or whatever, that this man just hung, hung himself. And, you know, he never showed any signs of wanting to kill himself. <coughs> um, well, he was on suicide watch. He was? They had him on suicide. They had him on, <coughs> excuse me. They had him on suicide watch. And then they took him off and had him on um, protective custody. Um, or I'm trying to... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was watching Good Morning America today. They had him on... I think they had him on suicide watch and then they put him on in protective custody. Or he may have just been in protective custody. But you know, suicide watch and protective custody are two different things. What you can have while you're in protective custody, you can't have when you're in suicide watch. Like for instance, if you're in protective custody, they allow for you to have like a sheets and shoestrings and this, that, and the third. But if you're on suicide watch, you can't have any of that things. Just like at the hospital, at a hospital that I work at, when patients are on suicide watch, they'll have a, what you call a one-on-one, -on -one, a one-to-one -one where there'll be a tech in the room with them at all, times. at all time, you know, watching them or whatever, making sure they don't do nothing out of crazy. And then their trash cans are in their rooms. They, you can't put regular trash bags. Yeah, you have oh, to put okay. paper bags in there because you don't want nobody grabbing right. nothing and choking themselves because you know people have done it in the past. So, yes. So, apparently this guy, Ariel Castro, when he killed himself late last night, he was on protective custody. So the things that he killed himself with he was able to have because he wasn't on suicide watch. Which is crazy because I kind of agree with you. When I saw it this morning on uh, Good Morning America, it just, the whole story just seemed weird. Like all of a sudden this man is dead. Yeah, it just, like, it's just, just dead. In, like, my, in my heart, and this is the truth, in my heart, I just feel that he got his ass whipped and they killed him. Somebody killed somebody him. Killed him in he, not, he didn't kill himself. I don't believe that. I don't give a fuck what they say. He didn't kill himself. And, you know, if he did kill himself, of course that was a cowardly thing to do. Bitch, mm -hmm. you done kept these people locked up in the house for 10 years. Now you know how it really feels to be locked away. And now you want to kill yourselves. I commend those three women for staying there for 10 years without killing themselves. I don't even mm -hmm. think they even had a chance to kill themselves. Man. Or if they wanted to. You know, and he should have been he should have been tortured that same fucking way. He died and that was just so the easy way out. He should have suffered in there. Maybe they did beat him till he died. That's how I feel anyway. I could be wrong, but I really feel that they they killed him. And I don't know what else to say about it, but you know, I say to the uh, three victims, keep your head up. You know, and to the children, I know they have to feel some kind of way because you know they were telling the media how they never wanted to see their father in jail or the <coughs> first of all, they never was going to see him anyway. They was done with him, but I know they got to be feeling some kind of way to find out that their father done killed himself. So, you know, it, I don't know who to be happy for. You can't be happy for anybody. So, let's just go on to the next topic where we're talking about Miss I'm Booked, Miss Kelly Price. Oh, now, she is going on tour oh, um, with these stories about how how the basketball wives, not basketball, how the R&B divas thing was not all real. What is the um, reunion? Tonight at 10 o'clock and I will be watching. Oh, 
<laughs> and then next week is brought to the <laughs> And I must say, Kelly Price looked good in that red dress. Like, some girls don't look good in their, in their reunions. All of them look good. Well, I hope that tonight, sorry to cut you off, but I hope that tonight, this reunion is not like how Love and Hip Hop was, where the first one was horrible, and then we had to wait for an even horrible part two. I don't know. Oh, well, Wendy Williams is hosting it, so it's going, already going to be good. Thank God we didn't get that corny ass guy to do it this time. John Sally? No. The other guy. Whoever TV oh, went high. Oh, girl. But I Kelly Price was just saying all of this. The producers try to make me say this. They try to make me say that. I did create a little bit of drama with Fred because they asked me to. And TV One brought him in. You know, Kelly Price is just trying to... What's the word you say? Trying to redeem herself or, you know, you know, from the bad publicity that she was getting from being on the show. But Kelly, you still was being a bitch. You, first of all, I wouldn't have created no drama for no reality show. Bitch. If it's going to be drama, somebody <coughs> must did something to me, and that's why I'm going to go the fuck off. Otherwise, you can have a successful show mm -hmm. without the fighting. You can mm -hmm. bicker. Of course you're going to bicker. It's women. Six mm -hmm. fucking women. Right. Come on now. Don't give me that. Y'all going to argue about shit. Y'all could argue about how things would happen. First of all, if they could have did a document on before the barbecue, how people was just throwing ideas out there. And I'm like, no, I'm not trying to hear that. No, no. Like, I was going to fuck off. Because I was trying to hear nobody else's idea if it wasn't mine. No shame. But, you know, it's drama. It's arguments. The Kevin, you wrong. You shouldn't think. That. No, I, I, don't tell me how to think and stuff. If the camera was out there, y'all would see how you know how much of a bitch I could really be. I'm telling you, I'm just saying I'm a bitch. I'm going to leave it all. But, yes. <laughs> Don't shake your head. I didn't. I didn't shake my head. I didn't agree, agree with me. I didn't agree. Right. I didn't agree. Right. I didn't agree. Right. Yeah, because you know what? <laughs> this video is going really right, and I would hate for it to go really wrong. Yeah, because I'll take it wrong, and then yeah, I'll get don't it wrong. Don't go there. And you really so, do it. No, no, because I want you to take me to the uh, crab place. You want me to take you fucking where? To the crab place. To the crab place. I want some crabs. We can get some crabs. Who's we? I don't eat crabs. Well, I do. The fuck? Crabs. I wish I had my stamps. So no, I don't get no stamps. Don't don't do that. Oh, don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Cause that's how I built the club. Oh, you Hollywood oh, and you get food stamps. <laughs> Girl, they'll really read you. Okay. And then that'll be the night that I'm there. <laughs> and you'll see me somewhere off in the corner. Okay. No. They get him together. <laughs> They already know. They know that I ain't like that. Oh, mind you, I didn't tell you. Somebody left their keys, their book bag with their keys, their charger, all of this stuff they left at the barbecue in their book bag. Uh -huh. And still haven't got it yet. But, you know, I. But had somebody hit you up and said that they left? Oh, yeah, Who? Who was it? Um, I'm not gonna say his name because I don't want to embarrass him. But, yeah. Why? Why, why would it be embarrassing? If he if he left his stuff, then there was a by accident. Oh, my God. Oh, give me a commit. <laughs> oh, they did it on purpose so they could come back. <laughs> yes! You know, they, what's going on? What the fuck's going on? How are you going to show you this picture? But yeah. No, show me your name. Show me your name. Because I don't think right. I know what you're talking about. So, yeah. No, no. Oh, no. I ain't know somebody was here from there. They came all the way from there to come. Now y'all better not read us because we have not whispered in a long fucking time. Okay. Mind you, we ain't even had time to record us so all this. Time. But anyway, so yeah. Um, Are you sick? Yes. Child. So you know what? First of all, no more, <coughs> well, no more black barbecue. But I 
jersey up. <laughs> 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 So yeah, yes. That first of all, that scrubbing show barbecue was you scary. What? What? I ain't gonna put nothing. No, I didn't tell you. No, no. But um, watch it. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. So before we go, I gotta give out some shout outs. My first shout out is to our aunt Michelle Williams. Her new video of We Had Your Eyes came out I yesterday. Just, mind you, I just tec I text her and she replied back. I'm, I know some of y'all are going to read me. But like, why you always? Well, I was texting. Well, Michelle texted me, so I had to reply back. Yeah. yeah. So she just released her new video, If We Had Your Eyes. I love the video. To me, this is her best video, video to date. And she needs to stick with Derek Blanks. Derek Blanks needs to do all her work. It's something about the way he, first of all, the pictures that he do are always the bomb. I don't know if he's still do the alter ego photo shoots, but the way the the colors, the way the video was shot, the girls that they had in the video, the it was just every freaking thing, and that video made you think that we need first of all we need to stop judging people before we get to know them just because they might look like um might look like something like you don't like. One day that person might save your life, or that person might tell you something to help. You just never know who's going to help you out one day. You just never know. But the video was the video was amazing, and the video was an eye opener. And she gave a shout out to um, Trayvon Martin at the end, and that was a real eye opener. If we had your eyes, we would see things Come right. On now, Michelle, because that message. Come if on. George Zimmerman wouldn't have looked at Trayvon Martin that way, George Zimmerman. Wouldn't have had to go through all of that. And Trayvon Martin was still, still walking here. the streets. And we right. wouldn't even know who Trayvon Martin was. Yeah. Ain't that something? Yeah. It's all, we all have to be held accountable for how we think and how we do things and what we say. Oh, my God. Michelle, I, I just really want this song to go mainstream. Like, because this is a message that everybody needs to hear. And, you know, hopefully her team can get the freaking word out, you know, because wow. I want everybody to know about Great video. If we had your eyes. Great video. It's it's a great video. And I told her, I texted her and told her how much I loved it. It's a really good video. Like you said, it's an eye open. Dude. I don't live here. That's all right. Somebody's in that room. Hello? Listen. Who's in your room? Because the TV is turned up too loud and I can't hear myself think. No, we're not talking about Beyonce. We're talking oh, about oh, Michelle. Damn, we didn't even say Beyonce name the whole fucking video. You know, you need to come up here and turn this video, I mean, TV down before I go in your room and tell your guests to turn it down. You got somebody in there? Yeah, somebody in there. I bet you was a girl. Go in there and look. Oh, what you doing in here? Who is it? Why are you taking this so loud? The girl I got you together before. No, she didn't get me together. Why you got the TV up so loud? We in here working. You got that TV. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, because he said you got me together. When you get me together? Never. And look at her. That's why I ain't no air, because the air's all in front of her. She got her shoes off, kicked all up like she live here. You don't live here. She do live here. No, she don't live here. She's well, a guest. My, my mom said she gonna have to start paying rent. Oh, you gotta start paying rent? <laughs> she figured. Oh, oh, oh. What's she, she, she said? said he can come with her. He can come with her. I need a girlfriend like that. <laughs> that's what that's what kind of girlfriend I need. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you know, oh, 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 your mom said you got to pay rent? Well, you can come with me. <laughs> that's what she just said. Fuck with his mom. I fuck with his grandma. I'm saying he can come stay with me. That's the type of bitch I want. Mm. <laughs> I ain't know you were telling girls. What? Did I say that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, another girl I want to give a shout out to Tamar. You know, Tamar album came out on Tuesday. I will be doing an album review for it. Love and War is out. You know, I can't lie, I'm mad at maybe two or three tracks. But everything else is good on Everybody's the album. Everybody's loving the album. Yeah, it's good. A lot of people say it's, a lot of good yeah. It's good, but Tamar tried it on three <laughs> tracks. Yeah, she did. And she can call me and find out which ones. But I'll tell you on camera anyway. Because you know, y'all, I'm scared. I love too. that little uh, sh clip of the sugar, hot sugar video. Yes. And she was sitting with the That's the time. song. The guys was I was like, yes. Yeah, when, 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 first of all, when I finally had the song, I kept repeating it because I was just so happy that I finally had it. Now that was the song that was in high demand. It's still in and high demand. And it's still demand. in high demand. Yeah, so they, you better get it while the milk is good. Okay. She All better. Right. And she performed on uh, Kelly and Michael today too. Yeah, to Love and War. Love and something's War. going on with her voice a little bit. I think they said that she uh, 
had damaged her vocal cords. Vocal. Yeah. She's doing first of all, she's doing too much talking. Mm -hmm. She and got enough vocal vests. Okay. And, and, she, and she got the new show, Tamar Vince. So, you know. I mean, these girls need to follow me. You know what I'm saying? Go on fucking vocal rest. Y'all got to do what Matthew taught. Go on. Remember when he taught you a long time ago and told you, ah, you don't too much talking? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah. So, the new album is number two. It's number two on the charts so far on iTunes, so which is a prelude to the album going to be number two. Um, I'm going to give a shout out. The last person I'm going to give a shout out to is Ariana Grande. I listened to her album yesterday just on word of mouth. And I mean the album was only $8. That heifer blew on all 14 of those tracks. <laughs> I right. When I said she blew, she blew. And Babyface produced some of her work. Uh, I can't remember who else. But the bitch is bad, okay? She might dress like she's 14 or 15, even though she's 20. <laughs> Mariah, girl, I don't know what the fuck you was doing, but she, that girl went to the 90s, jacked your shit, and it's still hot today. So I'm going to need you to jack your own shit <laughs> because you could have made an album like Ariana Grande did. It is amazing for a young, because these young girls really don't do it for me no more. They don't do a damn thing. But every time I kept seeing this girl, I kept seeing, oh my God, Kevin, you got to listen to her. She's like a baby Mariah. She gives you that Ashanti with a mature, a mature Ashanti voice with a slash hint of Mariah Carey. Y'all go get that Yours Truly album. Y'all go get it. And John Legend, oh, that bitch just made an album for the bedroom. He made an album for the bedroom. Like, That's the type of album I like. I just gotta find out who's the baby I'm playing. I don't know, but I don't know who's gonna go to his concert. But if you go to his concert, go with somebody you love and take some concerts with you because you're going to be doing it. That's and the concert with him and Tamar. Yeah, I know. Because I texted Tamar the other day and she said, yeah, she's still doing the, the tour with him and I can't wait to see her. And, and that's gonna be the shame because it looks like Tamar is selling more than John Legend and she's going on tour with him. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm done. I'm done because I don't want to throw no shade because I don't want to go to the concert and jump be like, bitch, I heard what you said on the video. Yeah, We stay on the front lines. So what, what else? What else? Everything else? Any no. more announcements? I don't go to the Scorpion Show .com, You know. Yes. And if you have any news or information, or if you want to be like on a weekend spotlight, like if you can really sing, because I only want people that can really sing. Don't give me a little. Never mind, we got some change. singers. I think in 2014 we should start showcasing. You know, people out there with talent. Yeah. I, they ain't got to be big. Think, they just got to have talent. Yeah. Okay. If you sing, if you dance, if you did a choreo. You know what I don't want? I don't, if you do sing, don't, it's no shade to Beyonce even though it's her birthday. Don't send me just Beyonce stuff. Because I get tired of seeing people say, watch me sing this Beyonce song. And, and a lot of times, they sound terrible. I just don't tell you. I don't reply. <coughs> Try to sing some other people. I'm not going to tell you who to sing. But try singing other people besides just Beyonce. I know you'll probably get a lot of hits, but be risky because everybody's singing Beyonce song. And there's a lot of people that can sing that still want to just do a Beyonce song. And I say, try somebody else. Make it better. Let's see um, Cortez from um, America Idols last year. He put up a new video. I wasn't able to watch it on my phone because my phone wouldn't let me play it. But he put up a video of him singing... What's her name? Ariana? Ariana Grande? Yeah, and I retweeted it, and a lot of people were like, oh my God, it sounds amazing. Then I was reading the comments, and everybody said it sounds amazing. But I couldn't see it because it wasn't coming up on my phone. Was it so the maybe way? People, it says, almost is never enough. Oh, hey, that's a new song, yeah. Well, can you pull it up so I can see it? It ain't gonna play? It, it doesn't play on my phone. Look, watch when it comes up. See? I don't know why it does that. So we done? So then you can yeah. play it. So, okay. So do I got to play them in the video or we done? No, we, we done. Because uh -huh. I don't want them to take your video down. <laughs> so yeah, so we'll go. We'll be back with the video next week. The shade was, y'all heard I said the shade. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to take your video down. Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> it can go really right or really wrong. And I want to keep going right. So it's his video. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? On that note, I don't have nothing to say. I don't have... <laughs> That's gonna, be the, go that's gonna be the top comment. Really right, really wrong. <laughs> <laughs>